Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a special video tribute to the reigning Miss Earth Northern Marianas for 2020, Maria Leo Terlahi, who will be crowning her new successor in a few hours. Let us go down memory lane as we recap a little bit of her year as her reigning queen for the Marianas and we will have a live interview with her I'm going to put her on the spot one last time as a beauty queen or as a reigning beauty queen rather because she's forever gonna be a queen and yeah Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, for one last time, we have the reigning Miss Northern Marianas Earth because by the time you watch this video, she has a few hours till she crowns her successor and she becomes a former beauty queen just like Leisha. And yeah. Anyways, um, today we have Miss Maria Leo Terlahi. I'm a little bit, um, what's this word? Bittersweet? Bittersweet, gonna cry, not gonna cry, cause he's stressed. You're it's stressed. forever, yeah. So by the time you watch this, today is Friday, September seventeenth. Um, Maria, you've done great during your reign, and I'm not being biased, cause I'm your coach. I'm also your family member, so family members are the most meanest and strictest people. Go ahead, just tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was one of your best memory of being a queen? My favorite memory of being a queen is being able to reach out, like this is not cliche, like reaching out to the community and getting involved with the youth, knowing that I was in their shoes at one point and now I, I have a platform to um, uplift them and encourage them and to me having a whole year just to do that and just to meet the youth community was something that I would cherish forever. I did that maybe my whole reign, just working with the youth community and so that was my favorite part. What will be the first thing you would do after you crown your successor? Before answering that call. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna say eat. <laughs> oh, I've been eating. But <laughs> the first thing I would do is really just breathe and take it all in. Um, acknowledge everything that I've done because I don't think like right now I, I feel I don't feel like it's hit me that I'm about to crown someone else because I've just been working so hard focusing on my projects and being um, the best queen I could be for our community that uh, once I am done in my reign, I would love to focus on the things that I want to do for myself um, with school, my mental health, just focusing on a lot of me time, self-care. And family time. Family time. I could balance a lot more now. So I'm looking forward to that. If you could give any type of advice to your next successor, what would it be? At the top of my head, it's just to find your passion, whatever it is, and put that meaning into the crown you wear. So for example, with me, I was so, I guess, empowered on my own as a youth individual that I wanted others to feel the same. And maybe that doesn't tie in with the environment, but uh, with uh, my crown, or with my reign, I tied in my passion, which was that, working with the youth, um, really relate to uh, how my reign should be as an Earth Queen. Find what you love to do and um, use your crown and use your platform to act on it. What, what advice would you give your next queen if she had to represent the Marianas virtually in the actual Miss Earth pageant? The Miss Earth pageant will be virtual this year again. So my advice to the next queen is to get a lot of sleep um, because um, virtual pageants do a lot with um, different time zones that we have to deal with. Really? Yes because we are uh, following the time zone of where the pageant will be held. Last year was in the Philippines. And so a lot of um, my lives, because it was virtual, were a little later. And so I would finish around 1 a.m. to almost 2 a.m. sometimes. And so you will be up representing the CNMI at around midnight. So that's my advice. But if you could give one message to the people of the Marianas, what would you say to them? So to the people of the Marianas, I would like to 
express my sincere gratitude and just like a huge thank you. Without you guys, my reign would have no purpose. Um, my passion revolved around uplifting our community and making sure that everything that I do during my reign was for our, the future and um, the generations and those after us. And so without your involvement and your support, to me as a queen, all of that would have not been aspired. So I just wanna say thank you, especially for all your love and support and encouragement for trusting me to be your queen um, for 2020, and especially during a pandemic. And there we have it. One last time as your reigning queen, forever a former, Maria Charlahi, Miss Earth, Northern Marianas 2020. Bye. And there you have it guys, just like a fun short video with the Queen Maria as she prepares to crown her next successor who will continue her legacy as Miss Earth Northern Marianas. Maria, you have come a long way and I am beyond proud of the woman that you have become. It has been a wonderful year. You've had your ups and downs, many challenges and obstacles, but you've proven to show your commitment and dedication, not only to our island community, but to the through the environment, the people of the Marianas, and of course, everybody else abroad. So much props to you and best of luck in your future endeavors. We have just a few more hours till we know who will carry the legacy as Miss Earth Northern Marianas. And until our next episode, thank you guys for watching. Be safe and have a great day. Bye.